Good morning, Hiker Dude Dad. And Dr. Mom. We are in Pequay, being absolutely swarmed by bugs right now. <laughs> uh, pretty early in the morning here, <clears throat> just after 9 o'clock. And we are hiking up the Conestoga Trail towards the Wind Cave. So it is almost 80 degrees already. It's very humid out here. But uh, we're going to go underground to Wind Cave where it should be about 38, 39 degrees. So we're kind of making our way up the hill here following the orange blazes. And got to admit, kind of on the fence about this one. Um, <laughs> I don't know how claustrophobic I'm going to be in this cave. There are 2,000 feet of passageways underground. <laughs> Not sure that we will be exploring all 2,000 feet. <laughs> Pitch black. We are going to do as much as we can. But um, the one thing I do want to say is don't come here without a partner. No one has died here, but there have been rescues. Uh, the most recent one about five years ago. And that person was a Boy Scout. Not just us. So <laughs> take a partner and uh, if you're going to go explore Wind Cave and there are, um, there is a map online, uh, very easy to find that uh, most people use and we're going to hope that it's correct. Let's go. So here we are at Wind Cave. Warning signs abound. Enter at your own risk. Experienced individuals only. I'm hoping we both add up to an experienced individual. But here's the north corridor entrance. This is the easiest way to get in, apparently. It's eight foot high by three foot wide opening. Feel a little cool air coming out. Definitely here, for sure. Wearing a thermometer that says 77 right now. So we'll see what it is inside there. Um, <laughs> I was hoping not to be a sweaty mess by the time we got here, but it's so humid out right now that we're just gushing right now. So muggy and buggy. Muggy and buggy, so we're going to get some sweatshirts on and fire up some lights and, and get in here. So right by the cave door, low to the ground, there's just a cold breeze coming out here. I put my pack down, and I said it was 77 before, mm -hmm. I think. 71, 70, dropping steadily just sitting here outside the cave. So we're... Getting the sweatshirts on and ready to head in. Alright, lights are on. Going in. A little bit foggy in here with the humidity out front here. Going straight down here. quiet in here. I hear the bugs outside, but it is so quiet in here. Kind of steps here. Yes, I'm wearing a hockey helmet. She's wearing a bike helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I bump my head on the best of days. So going in a cave like this, Taking every precaution, but I don't have a caving helmet yet. I could see that that's maybe something that we need. All right. So, a little wet here. So, Wind Cave is a tectonic cave. 
Uh, pretty rare to have one this big. In fact, it is probably the largest of largest tectonic cave in the United States. Definitely on the East Coast. Here's a ledge that's dangerously close to my head, so I'm glad I got the got the lid on. Um. Okay, I'm scraping here. It's about two feet wide here. Down to about 18 inches right here. All right. And here's a rock fall. Once we get over this, it should expand a bit. A little side, little side chamber. Oh, it happened a long time ago, I'm sure. Um, so a tectonic cave is formed when, oh my, you got down? yeah, so going above this big rock, not the way to go. Most caves in the United States are solutional caves. So they're formed by water dripping down, slightly acidic rainwater, eating away at uh, limestone and softer rocks, and forming caverns, and form stalactites and such from the dripping. We won't find that here. The walls here, pretty rough. No water to erode them. Just a little bit of moisture here. Alright, so I'm backwards, okay, I'm by the rock, oh man, you can see there's a hallway up there, yep. the tree across it, alright, I'm going to put this down. So, solutional caves like Indian Echo Caverns, Crystal Cave, all that formed by water eating away at the rocks. But this tectonic cave, we're on the side of a hill leading down to the Susquehanna River. So at some point, the rocks split. All right, it looks like we can go up or down. Split, and gravity pulled half of it down the hill towards the river. And half of it stayed up on the hill. A lot of tectonic caves don't have roofs. They're just kind of like little canyon gullies. Oh my. These are just rocks wedged right in here, aren't they? Okay. Check my notes, see whether to go up or down here. Um, but to have a covered 2,000 feet of passageway like we have here is rather remarkable and probably the best example of this in the country. Oh, yeah, so there's a split here. We could have come down or up. I think they would have both met over here. Just below, below. And then there's another, yeah, like down, yeah. right down there. Yeah. In front of Doc is another corridor, but that just goes down into the, that might be where all the cave rats are. bowels of the earth. It's, uh, it's very high back here. Can't see around this turn here. But it looks like it narrows. 
Oh my god, this is this is amazing. Hope my video does this justice because some of the other ones I watched, I mean, it makes it look very narrow, which it is in places. Do we miss that? Are we we're more than a hundred feet in, right? Um, more passageway, just this kind of, uh, you know, about four feet wide, 20 feet high, it's starting to narrow though, so I'm, I wonder if we have to go down for that southern corridor passage. All right, I think we're back as far as we can really realistically go with our skills. And back here I see an orange arrow and a white arrow pointing back towards where we came from. So, yeah, right here. You can see how narrow we're getting here. It's definitely high enough. It's so quiet and peaceful. It looks like a... Another pit here down there, which I see your light on the other side of it, actually. Yeah. You're looking down there, too. You see mine? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to head back the North Passageway, west, I guess. Orange arrow. A lot of the videos I saw, like the orange graffiti arrows kind of seem like they're in key places. All right, so this is where we came under. Tempted to go over, see what that's like. Just saw a couple drips coming down from above. So, that's where you're thinking, get it down? Um, maybe back a little more. We just gotta pay attention out to our left. For maybe that passageway. That, maybe that okay. Or I think there's another place to possibly go down. I forget. Maybe I ought to take a look at the map to see if it makes sense. Okay, so there were stone steps and then a rock jam. Okay, between. Okay, so that opening to the surface. Uh -huh, which is above me, because it yeah, drips on me. The path is just a little bit before that. Okay. okay. I think I printed it off unchartedlancaster.com, um, but it's out there. I think the map was created in like 1973, I think. I think Topo Ranger mentioned that. All right, so here we've got the opening. So just maybe about 20 feet past you there. Maybe. Rock rolled on me. No, because that's the, the opening of the. Like down, there's the steps. So there's the steps coming up here, I think. This must be it. Okay, is there anything down in there? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Alright. Orange arrows. Oh my god, I'm completely full. Careful, it's a butt slide. As it drops down to the next level, this is it. Because I'm almost going uncomfortably down. Very slippery rocks. Yeah, everything's very wet in here. 
This is definitely sort of a descent into hell. It's only about five feet high here. Hey. Hey, nothing compared to the tunnels of Enola, right? Trusted the man-made tunnels, okay. Yeah, I mean, at some point these split open. Right. I had one leg, like that left leg bent behind me as I reached with the right over to here, I think. and document everything here at the apple juice jug we're gonna go up and to the right to get, to get back out of here unless we find once we go down if we go down here and hit the south corridor and come out this way there's a south entrance so that most people use as an exit because oh. it's a crawl out okay. kind of an exit but um you know we don't have to come back through here Again. Oh. All right. Okay. Opens up a lot here. There's a hole in the ground over here. Watch. A lot of graffiti. Oh, no way. We found the devil's anus. <gasps> okay, so I don't think we're in the corridor to the south side. Been looking for this? Yo, maybe we're in the south corridor. When we got to that T. Yeah. Oh, dude. When we got to that T, left or right, I think we're at the south corridor. Hmm. So we'd have to go through that skinny area, I think, to get to the south exit. Oh, heck now we're going, we're going southeast in the cave right now. We're going southeast in the cave right now. The, where we came in is northwest. So we're at the very farthest reach of the cave away from us. Right. In the devil's anus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like when you <laughs> when you pass the giant tits, you'll end up at the devil's anus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, wow, very tall in here, big cavernous space. Thought it'd be tighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are way farther in this cave, honestly, than I thought we'd get. Um... We have no experience with this at all. And yeah, this is, this is crazy. It, it was, you know, a little difficult climbing in places, you know, getting past stuff, but <sighs> tell you once you make it to the devil's anus, I mean, you've, you've, you've made it, right? Like, I feel like we've seen everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we stopped it. Get out, but yeah, not bad, huh? All right, I'm going to have some water and enjoy the view. <laughs> One thing you don't need to pack with you is a can of spray paint. Let's just yeah, down. leave the spray paint at home. Yeah. Not needed. Nothing Not needed. we dislike more than uh, people uh, just That's ruining for sure. a natural experience this would be graffiti so wasn't better. here when the earth split open and caused yeah. this natural miracle you know other than the up into the right arrow thanks the up into the thanks right arrow you. is good you thanks know what you. a small navigational 
blaze put there by a uh, <laughs> land management professionals is is that's helpful helpful but not this so hiker dude dad suggested turning off the lights and just feeling the silence and the darkness and that was cool until i started to feel like i was losing my balance just standing still it was so pitch dark so quiet no i had no cues yeah, yeah no everything has been taken away from you mm -hmm. and it's it is absolute just, darkness and quietness yeah it was just a touch just, of my feet on the floor and my hands in the rocks and yeah uh, when you're down to only one sense really it uh makes it a real challenge so it's up top you go down below oh mm, wonder if they connect so we climbed we were up top there yes okay coming in from there yeah and that looked too narrow. Uh-huh. But oh yeah. There's more. Oh, there's an exit this way. I oh, sweet. Oh. Uh, Good eye. Some documentation. All right. Wall. Watch some your documents. melon. Watch your melon. Yep. <laughs> Not <the crack>. Oh yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot a belt again. <laughs> That's why I leave my belts in my pants. <laughs> Uh, hands and knees right here. Yeah? Go down. Um, look like anything's up. There's arrows. Oh, going down? Yeah. Okay. White ones, uh, but I don't know. Maybe we should look at the map. Down. Why is it? Wow. Oh, shoot. Okay. Big drop. Um, yeah, I just... Trying to discern. There's lots of arrows going down. Yeah. Nothing going up, though. It looks like you can get up there pretty far. Sorry. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Uh, she's like under me right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Got a whole big room down there. Low, but it's... Oh, man, she has just disappeared here. <laughs> Okay. South corridor, very confusing. A lot of passageways. Oh, yeah. Oh, she is out of sight right now. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm basically like duck walking on my feet, squatting down. Temperature check 64 degrees. So not not 39 degrees. So, I think we're here. I think we wanted to go up here now, but I think we're down here maybe. Yeah. Or she might have gone into one of these dead ends. So, I think, I don't know, it's here, but maybe. Try up there. Yeah, you know what? I see pink and white to your left it says out and arrow. Back this way, okay. Yeah. Got it. So this is the room that I was just in. I was duck walking under this big roof here. And you can see there's maybe a narrow way that direction. There's up there. Watch the head up top and down around that corner to the left. There's I think another way down over there, but they all seem a little narrow. Mm, not my idea of a good time. 
so but here's the kind of the low chamber that I was just in okay I'll try and work my way back up here again Can't tell if there's anything up there. I don't think so. This I don't like. <laughs> um, gets a little wider up there. I can get up there. I think I'm just butt sliding down. Surprisingly agile when I need to be. Maybe some sort of nesting site. <laughs> yeah, nothing up here. Nothing up here, just claustrophobia. With a side of something might bite me in the face. I don't think we're having luck finding a southern exit, although there should be two. Oh, well, don't go right there. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna kick you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Can't imagine mine. I was just sitting in a puddle back there waiting for you to explore that chamber. <laughs> that was, uh, that was fun. All right. Wow. So then going back that way just connected, right? Yes. Like I and I where think we just were for those chambers and then that one I think we saw. Yeah. So don't take this skinny where these two white arrows are, don't go take the skinny side. You to the left and under. Just a little bit and yeah. Under. Agree. Yeah. Don't get to the same place. Oh my god, this is way easier going down. Totally. Do not do this if you're not wearing a helmet. Yeah, wear a helmet. Protect your melon. I've bumped my head about 19 times. Can't wait to see the outside of the white helmet when I'm done. Roasting. Yeah, there's a very hot spot here. You know where you hit the South Passage because it was, it's like a heat blast. So I think to your left is like, that'll take us out. Yes. All right. I think for a couple of first timers in here, not really knowing where we're going. Um, I think we did okay. <laughs> My right foot wanted to keep slipping out. Um, yeah, I think we did a really good job here actually for, for not having any experience with this and never having been here before. The two-dimensional map, and it's a three-dimensional cave, so I'm not sure where ups and downs were, and if we followed them the right way. Oh, 
Here's the exit that we came in. North entrance. It's a little tight going through here. Couldn't tell how tight it was on the way in, but man, I can tell by looking at you right now. <laughs> Time to get these shirts off. Full change of clothes back at the car too. We've just been sitting in wet, muddy. muddy rock. All everything's muddy. So must-haves for this trip. Yes. Lots of lights, extra lights, extra batteries if you need them. Um, helmets, absolutely must. Doctor Mom says do not enter these caves without wearing a helmet. And extra change of clothing. We bought rope. Just yeah, in case definitely. we had to make a rescue or leave a breadcrumb trail. <laughs> uh, definitely recommend some gloves just for gripping the muddy, wet rocks. Yeah, super dirty in there. Yeah. Um, good tread on your shoes and extra change of clothes for when you're done. I'm yeah. sweaty from crawling around <laughs> in a sweatshirt in 60 degree weather. so. But I'm glad I had it yeah, for yeah. the long sleeves for leaning on the rocks and cushion. Scraping, scraping skin and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I don't know if you want to go in a shorts and t-shirt. Yeah. Well, this is nice. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for bringing me along. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Take a buddy. Take yeah. a buddy. This is fantastic. Yeah. She was wonderful. Wasn't too keen on the prospect of it, but yeah. it was fun, right? It was, it was like, great. It was unique. It was... Never did anything like this before. Yeah. Uh, one of a kind find here in Lancaster County. Definitely. Largest yeah. tectonic cave in America here in Lancaster County. So, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Tell a friend. Ring that bell for notifications when we do crazy stuff like this. No. But thanks for watching. <laughs> tell a friend. And we'll see you next time.